Hi, I'm Jason Stahl along with Nadine Bata, and we're counting down the top 10 news stories of 2022. As usual, there was no shortage of breaking news stories in the collision repair industry, a lot of which focused on, big surprise, auto body shop consolidation. So let's dive into the top 10 news stories of 2022. Number 10 is Abra Brookings opens in South Dakota. Abra Auto Body Repair of America announces expansion in South Dakota with the opening of Abra Brookings in the city of Brookings. Number 9 is Trinidad and Tobago Tech takes apprentice under his wing. This news story focused on Kenrick Cox, a 40-year collision veteran who was born in Trinidad and Tobago, who formed a strong bond with first-year apprentice Alshon Smith, sharing his knowledge and experience with him. Number eight is Auto Body Shop Owners writes book on customer service. After many years in the collision industry, Zach Dillard used his experience to write a book that any business could use to create happy customers and employees. Number seven is American Honda adds update promise to Service Connect program. American Honda announced it added update promise to the Honda Service Connect and Acura Service Connect programs for Honda and Acura dealerships to give their consumers a first class experience with update promises end to end consumer experience management system. Number six is Mako to celebrate 50th anniversary at 2022 convention. This news story explained that Mako franchise owners would be gathering Tuesday, November 15th through Friday, November 18th for the 2022 Mako Convention in Carlsbad, California to celebrate Mako's 50th anniversary and to participate in a four-day event filled with motivational speakers, a vendor trade show, leadership messages, charitable events, and educational opportunities. Number five is Crash Champions and Service King announce strategic transaction. Crash Champions announced that it entered into an agreement to receive a growth investment from Clear Lake Capital Group LP and would simultaneously execute a strategic merger with Service King Collision. Number four is Drywall Pro's tape dispenser invention, a hit with auto painters. Shadrach Gibson invented a tool called the Double Taper that allowed drywall contractors and auto body painters to mask jobs and attach plastic sheeting faster and easier. We're down to the top three news stories of 2022. Jason, can you feel the excitement? Nadine, I have not been this excited since I hold out a 120-yard shot for Eagle last summer. Awesome, let's do it. Number three is Kansas passes CMA-supported classic car legislation. The Specialty Equipment Market Association applauded Kansas lawmakers for passing House Bill 2594, exempting certain modifications on antique vehicles from vehicle identification number offense seizures and dispositions as a critical step forward in protecting the rights of restorers and owners of classic vehicles in the state. Number two is Focus Advisors offer review of 2021 collision acquisitions. Focus Advisors released a report reviewing the collision repair acquisition activity of 2021, calling 2021 one of the busiest years since 2019, where the most mature consolidators got much bigger and the adolescents of 2020 grew into impressive, fully realized competitors seeking their own national footprint. And the number one news story of 2022 is, drumroll please, Albert Kemperly joins Wesco Group. Wesco Group, a leading paint body and equipment distributor in the Western U.S. and Canada, announced that Albert Kemperly Incorporated joined the Wesco family of companies. So there you have it. That's a wrap for our year in review series. And that's about all she wrote for 2022. Here's to our prosperous 2023. See ya.